Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Let's go. Can't hear you. There you go. All right, well, we're getting ready to go now, and it's my honor to introduce Mr. Juan Brown. Juan is the sole announcer extraordinaire. He's part of the button channel, and he is one of the most amazing announcers you'll ever hear. So you'll see our aircraft begin to the stage. And Juan, I think you're on the ground here somewhere. Are you with me? Oh, can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Right down here in front. Juan Brown from the Blanco Valerio channel back again for a second year. So glad to be here. Who wants to go see some stole competition this evening? distances. On final now is Hal Stockman in lawnmower 3 and his Rans S7 from Elko, Nevada. He's looking for that line. He cannot land before the line or it's a scratch. He's got to land on and be on the line. Justice from Biola, Arkansas. Boom. 
That's good. And where the main wheels stop, that's what they're going to measure. So each of these cones, the green cones, are 10 feet. Each white cone is 100 feet. Our final now is Levi Nogues in the split serves the torch. Three quarter stand scale. Boom. It's good. Oh yeah. What do we got there? Just barely a hundred feet. Okay, here comes the man to beat, Steve Henry. Race 44 in the Just Aircraft Highlander with the Yamaha EPEX engine. He's going to come in low and then drag it in the line. A little first to power. Drop it in there. Lock him up. Less than 100 feet. All right, in the next group of four aircraft, up first, this is Rick Ness in the Fat Country Cub. From Escanado, Michigan. Pacer. 
bringing it up to the line. Here, up here, up here. Big burst of power, popped him over the line quite a bit, locked him up. Bringing him right up here. Now we're getting into the heavy haulers. This one's got the light going, 180 horse engine conversion. 223 feet on that last landing from Joe Dorn Jr. Watch this. I don't know. Don't scratch, kid. Get it up here in line. Watch the flaps on this one. Got the flaps. I'm not a scratch. So, as soon as you get the aircraft on the ground, you want to get those flaps up right away and transfer the lift. From get the lift off of the wings to get the weight on the wheel to minimize your takeoff distance. Basically, no wind conditions this evening, so no wind to help them out. 
It's appeared on there several times flying around Alaska. Luke Spore, our youngest competitor tonight, flyer tonight, flying the Legend Cub. From Sulphur Springs, Texas. The last two takeoff rolls were 230 feet and 262 feet. Here's Gary Schmidt and his, and his Super Stone Just Aircraft. Rotax powered. And Joe Dory Jr. in the back country, super 190 feet, 190 feet on that last takeoff roll. And the experimental pacer coming up next. Boy, it's getting dark quick this time here already. Joe Dory running the 
fixed leading edge slats in that experimental pacer. 234 foot takeoff roll. On final now, Rick Ness is about to cut the code. Hey, just 
Keep your eye out, folks. They're going to be passing out some signed posters by these school pilots here in just a minute. So keep an eye out for posters flying your way. Walk back to you for the landing. Who's got the posters? We need some play out here. Who's the one that we need? Drag it up to the line. That's good. Count it. Bringing it right up over the 200-foot line. What'd you get, Kevin? 205 feet for the Cesta 170 feet with a 180-horse lifeboat. Here comes Warren in the big 180. You're heavy on Sailing and drop it right in there. That sprung steel landing gear will launch you into outer space if you don't pin that landing. Beautiful. 186 feet in that big old Cesta 180. That dude can fly. Is this the Cesta cover on final? Doug Jackson. Well, over the line. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, that Cesta wing, did you see how it kind of paid off all of a sudden there? He got his leading edge slats mounted. He's ready for some pure stole action. And how on the boys fly these low and slow airplanes all the way out here? Oshkosh from the West Coast just to put on these shows for you. And that's a long haul in a small airplane. 116 foot takeoff with Al Stockton. The kickbox for speedster, Jared Justice. Levi Nogas in the storage. Three quarter scale. Real tax power. 912. Up, 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 come on, Lindbergh, yeah. Beautiful flying right off into that sunset. Here's the one to beat, Steve Henry. Wind up that 300 horsepower Yamaha snowmobile engine. Give it a little nitrous boost. Get that supercharger going. Turbo Look at that. 74 feet consistently. 74 feet. So the takeoff's easy, the landing is hard. This is the precision part of nailing it on the mark without coming up short. So let's see how Hal does here. Got very little inertia in this aircraft. That's good. Good job, Hal! Great landing! Look out! Kitbox Speedster, Jared Justice, 188 feet. Here comes that storch. Levi Nogas. He's going to make it over the line just fine. 
Drop it in. That's good. Count it. Wait. 132, 132, 132 foot landing roll on the storage. Here comes Steve Henry holding it up like a Christmas tree. Race 44. It's getting hard to see that line now that it's getting so dark out. Don't scratch, Steve. Boom. Good. Look at that. Just balancing it right up there on the main table. really perform. 
take a relatively stock aircraft landing gear like that and nail the mark without balancing clear into outer space. 208 foot landing. It's like we're gonna go one more time here with the Jim Stevenson in the Cessna 170B with a 180 horse line coming. Jim from Book the Boy from Madison, Wisconsin. just right so that you can break ground without dragging your tail. Will Riddler in the big 180. 311. Sounded much better. He's got some great stuff out there. 
You can also catch him at a lot of stall events around the country, but we have some exciting things still in store for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is Air Arrhythmia. If you haven't seen this before, you are in for a spectacular treat. This is going to be some kind of...